Dimitri, I understand that the Yerevasi Liu corkscrew collection is one of the most important in the world. How does one start get, becoming a collector, becoming interested in becoming a collector? Well, there's various ways to be a collector of corkscrew. Um, a, to be interested in uh, wine related items and uh, uh, start collecting old uh, wine collecting items. Uh, um, the items and sometimes you come across an old uh, antique corkscrew and you are impressed by the artistry and um, the creability of people who created those corkscrews. Well, of course, nobody knows where, uh, when the corkscrew uh, creation started. Definitely, it was a need to draw the cork out of the bottle. Because in the beginning, as you can see here, the, the, the cores were conical and uh, could be drawn quite easily by two fingers or by feet. But by the end of the 18th century, the bottles came to that shape with much more uh, strong stopper with cork, uh, cork. And that was because of the need for transportation and binding. Now, at that time, uh, people needed an instrument to draw the cork out of the bottle. The first uh, cork screws probably were just sticks, you know, and uh, uh, or cork drawers, as you could uh, you can see here, a section of that piece of the cork of the cork screw between the bottle and the cork, and then by twisting and uh, drawing it up, and uh, uh, later by the beginning of the. Uh, 18th century, the small pocket sheathed corkscrew appeared, which was rather small, rather weak, uh, and uh, they they meant to draw small cork, uh, corks out of small bottles, uh, like medicine bottles or scent bottles or uh, whatever. Uh, but gradually, the need of uh, having more strong um, uh, corkscrews uh, created. The, the other types of corkscrews, like these folding balls, uh, which were combined with other uh, instruments, and uh, or the picnic ones, uh, they were all sheathed. It was a sheath which protect both the worm and the pocket, of course. And uh, while the uh, it was a recipro reciprocal influence of the uh, development of the bottle the cork and the corkscrew. I mean, the more strong corkscrews you have, you are allowed uh, to have more stark stoppage uh, of, of the bottle. And, but all this, including the, the usual T corkscrews, were um, straight uh, drawing corkscrews, and uh, well, gradually we needed about 30 kilos force to draw the cork uh, uh, out of the bottle. And that, that's how the, um, the need of the mechanical cost could appear, uh, starting from the first pattern, which was Hensel type, which was a rotary pull, and then you draw the cork with a rotary, uh, with a rotary motion, and then the Thomson, then ingenious. And after that, uh, it's amazing the, 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 the mechanisms that appear. Uh, to uh, do the three factions of the cork group, which means insertion the warp, uh, of the worm into the cork, drawing the cork out of the bottle, and then taking the, uh, the cork out of the cork screw. And the varieties of all these mechanisms is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. For example, uh, uh, look at that. I mean, this is a, a typical uh, rack and pinion. You insert the worm by clockwise turning of the handle, and then it's a second handle with a pinion. By twisting that, you raise the cork out of the bottle. Uh, well, it's impossible to, to go through all the, um, the mechanisms. The arrangement uh, of this cork relation has been according to Peter's book, and uh, according to type uh, of the mechanism, and uh, impossible time of creation. When you are starting being interested in the core screw, it's amazing 
uh, what you find. How interesting, uh, beautiful uh, things you find, and you think about the, the people who thought about it and created that. For example, look at the beauty of that, that course crew. It's a T-handle, uh, it's a serpent, uh, well this, this core crew is in the, in the uh, uh, Museum uh, Rouen, it's one of the most important, or the combination of that one, or the combination of this one with a tinder box, or that pistol. There are other more bulky ones. This one is a very, very early 18th, 18th century. It's all steel. It's 18th century corkscrew, one, one of the first um, uh, self pullers. Mm -hmm. I mean, by you have to twist the whole uh, uh, implement, of course, okay, and then you use the side handle mm -hmm. to raise the cork Oops, or one. the lever corkscrews. Or the lads type this one and this one. I mean, it's an amazing beauty in that, and uh, you, gradually you become an addict. I mean, Jero Vasiliev is a member of the ICCA, which means the International Course Crew Collectors, the Course Crew Correspondents. Uh, sorry, it's International Correspondents of Course Crew Addicts. They call themselves addicts, and it's an addiction. I mean, quite many times, uh, uh, being uh, broad uh, in London, uh, we're going to flea markets uh, five or six o'clock in the morning uh, with a torch, you know, trying to, to, to see among various animals to find a course crew. Uh, you travel miles and miles and miles, and this, this business of course crew hunting is terribly, terribly, terribly interesting. Mm -hmm. Not only for addicts like Gero Vasiliev, mm -hmm. but for people like me, I'm a doctor, you know, but, you know, I, I admire the artistry uh, and the creability uh, uh, of what you see uh, in these course crews. I, uh, I'd like to finish uh, with some, this sort of touch of humor. There's some very amusing ones. This, I, I, I suspect these are from the Prohibition in America? Uh, yeah, they're, they're, these are the ministers who started the Prohibition and uh, this is the funeral of one of them. The funeral of the Prohibition? Yes. Or the politicians? Well, the politicians, politicians. who died. This is the funeral <laughs> and on the top of the coffin it's written born at uh, the time of the Prohibition died. Uh, no. It's not written Mm -hmm. uh, because that was created a uh, couple of years before the prohibition was over. Excellent. And um... yeah. thank you. <laughs>